This is the ninth green at Hazeltine National Golf Club in Chaska, Minnesota. I'm going to show you what soil samples from this green, the total organic material by depth, what I call the OM246 samples, looked like after they were burned in a muffle furnace at 440 degrees Celsius. The golf course superintendent, Chris Tritabaugh, got his new tools ready last autumn. The idea with this test is to pull a clean core, Various tools can do that. I've written an instruction guide to collecting OM246 samples. You can find that guide on my website, asianturfgrass.com. This guide is even available in Japanese. Chris collected samples from the Pen A4 Creeping Bent Grass 9th Green on October 11th, 2021. The idea with this is to pull a clean core and then to cut it at specific depths. Then at the lab, all the organic material will be measured by burning it. This is what is called a loss on ignition test. The mass of the sample is measured prior to burning and then again after burning. The difference in mass after burning, the loss on ignition, that's the organic material. Sand and soil don't burn at 440 C, but organic material does, as you will see. The samples were air dried immediately after sampling. I recommend drying the samples to stop microbial activity prior to shipping. I recommend a standard procedure to take five subsamples per green at every depth that you want to test. This is the five subsamples from the zero to two centimeter depth from the ninth green at Hazeltine after they were dried in the office and just prior to shipping to Brookside Labs in Ohio. At Brookside, the samples are dried again this time not to stop microbial activity, but to make sure there is no water in the sample prior to taking the initial pre-burning mass. Here are those samples from the ninth grain in a large crucible ready to go into the furnace. After the burn at 440 degrees Celsius, this is what the samples look like. There's a white ash where the organic material was. After stirring the sample, it's simply sand. The organic material is gone. I've done this with some cori, that's zoysia matrella, a warm season grass with thick rhizomes, and although burns at 360 C and at 440 C return basically the same amount of mass loss on ignition, I like the way the sample looks better when it has been burned to a white ash at 440 C. The burn at 360 removes the mass, but there is still a tiny bit of charred, black organic material that isn't completely ashed. So that's what you can expect to happen with OM246 samples. After coming out of the muffle furnace, the organic material has been burned off. Chris and I spoke about this testing and how he makes use of the results in an ATC office hours, which you can watch or listen to. There's a link here to that conversation, and I'll put a few other relevant links in the description below. Thanks for watching. And please let me know any questions about this test. I may have already written about this on the ATC website, so check that out too, especially the OM246 tag.